Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video! Today, I'm gonna jump into the Regulation Duel Link Festival. A festival in which, uh, they want you to play Lynx, and they've, uh, banned most of the Floodgates, and I'll be playing a deck in which you don't really Link, and you play a Floodgate! Yay! It's Umi Control! <laughs> for some reason, they banned every other kind of, like, Floodgate? But they didn't hit Kairushin, and Kairushin is a walking battle tank of a Floodgate. So, I don't know, maybe they thought it was fair enough, but I'm going to jump in here. I'm in silver because I barely started playing. I've been running into, th I ran into three bot decks, and then I ran into what could be described as, I guess, a blue eyes deck that hard summoned Jinzo. I still have the replay, I should show it. It was... I almost lost to it because this deck actually used a lot of trap cards and I drew a lot of trap cards so I was like I don't think I have a single out for Jinzo in the entire deck because I don't think any of my big dudes can beat him. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. oh. Okay. Foolish burial goods. We're going to send Ice Barrier. Then we're going to search with Ice Barrier. Uh, who can we possibly get that will actually be useful? <laughs> I guess they just throw him off. I don't want to draw him, so I will get Mega Fortress Whale. Send him to the graveyard, and then I can add him to the hand. And then he will just simply give up. <laughs> Was it a bot deck? Let me see. Rank up. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Well, let me see. Was it another bot deck? It has to be. Um, what the hell are you running? <laughs> it is not a bot deck. Oh, it's a 57 card bat code jitter? Link? Bro, what is this deck? It's not even running access code. It's running Boral Load. Firewall. Firewall pass. Everyone's running a deco talker, I guess. I don't know what the hell that. Okay, I bricked. So the one bad thing about this um, event is that they banned all the pot cards, so it's actually very easy for this deck to brick. <laughs> Super easy, I would actually say. So I guess picking up the Mega Fortress Whale was enough for him to go like, no, not the whale. I also think this deck is better going second because it doesn't run. It runs Max C, but it does not run Ash Blossom, and it runs evenly matched. So, <sighs> let's see what this guy's got. Better, ooh, very good hand actually. We'll see what he plays. Funny enough, Ice Barrier. I've never actually been able to use it for its intended effect. I've only used it for. The effect of when it's in the graveyard, <laughs> get a level 5 or higher water monster from the deck. So that's funny. Not once have I been able to use it successfully. It's another bot deck. Let's go! Free wins! Ah, that's a shame. This was a decent hand. Made of the Aqua. Shoutouts to the YCS player. That's why I added it. Funny enough, it would be better if I could have access to Toad and stuff. But I would still see it as free Link material and stuff like that. Really not much to it. Ah, Let me just hit you with the, the Max C. I don't think you can summon any more, but if you, can, if you plan the special summon more, you're done, son. I hope all is well. End phase. My turn. Mm. Cool. Legendary Ocean. Activate effects. Say goodbye to Legendary Ocean. Say hello to the whale. Whale hello there. I could link summon right here. There's really there's literally no point. Battle phase. I could attack directly, but I have a feeling it literally doesn't matter. And I also still have missions that I need to complete, so... Playing suboptimally to complete missions, as God intended. So yeah, here's the main problem with linking away your board. Electric Jellyfish is a negate, 
So why would you link it away for a link monster that's not in a gate? Mega Forge as well lets everyone attack directly and can also destroy stuff on the opponent's side of the field. So why would you... You want to get rid of him. It just doesn't make any sense. That's the main problem is that all the actual Umi cards that you use are too good <laughs> to link away. And all the bad ones are like... Maiden of the Aqua or Gagigagagigo. But even then, he's like a 2650 beat stick. Ah, yay, 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 yay. What are you doing here, buddy? You're queued up. You're, you're clearly a bot. I just need you to... Oh, wait. I'm actually going to use Ice Barrier as it was intended if he actually attacks me. Do it. Do it. He's about to be so sad. I don't think he also realizes that I can just use this effect as well. I'll just use Ice Barrier. It's fine. Nope. Yeah, I'll use this now. Thank you. I'll get Legendary Fisherman. How about that? Fishman. He's dead either way on my turn, but... Activate effect. Send the last Legendary Ocean. Special Summon made into the Aqua. And yeah, I could have Link Summon. I'm not, though. Attack, fish man. Uh, I'm gonna assume this was another bot deck. I don't know what he's doing in gold. But let me see. You know, I've heard some people saying reports of like, oh man, it was super sweaty. It was crazy. But my experience has been, I've been playing just nothing but like these bot decks. That are like clearly, I don't know how the hell they're winning in gold. Maybe it will change the second I go higher, but I haven't run into any actual Link deck. <laughs> They've all been non-Link decks. Sky, this person's obviously running Sky Strikers. You don't call yourself Sky unless you're running Sky Striker. I won't even mind losing at this point. I'm going first. Me? Are you running a Kaiju deck? Why would you ever want me to go first? Ah, uh, okay, so this guy might actually be something. I'm going to start by activating Warrior of Atlantis. He didn't have a single thing for it. Mm, I'll activate a Legendary Ocean. And I'll do the single greatest move in the history of man, Legendary Fisherman Pass. He's unaffected by monster effects. And when he's destroyed, I could add a level 7 water monster. Which I'm sure will come in handy. This guy is terrified right now. He's like, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do on second deck he could be running. He could be running, I guess, not Cayenne. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. If I lose here, then I'll be interested. Feather Duster. He is running the uh, Ben Coyote K. The only reason why he would ever play that card. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? Ugh. Destroyed or leaves? It is a Sky Striker deck! <laughs> Maxi! Have fun with that. Yep. I had to do it regardless. No matter what, he was gonna get a free draw off of anything, so he wasn't getting a free I wasn't gonna get a draw my draw from the first special summon. Cause I can't chain it to the actual summon and yeah, this way he can get his Sky Striker card and not have to worry about anything else. But it's fine, if he special summons any more then I can summon a whole bunch of stuff. He summons the one water monster that Sky Striker has. Of course you do. Now, unfortunately, Sky Striker actually does. What? 
Are you that afraid of the Maxi? Get engaged, sure. Ah, uh, I think you lose here. Activate legendary ocean. Do you have anything? Fish sonar. Boop, 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 boop. Add to the hand from the deck. It's obviously going to be Kairushin. But then fish sonar's other effect gets to activate. And say hello to Gaga Gaga Gigo. Let me see. I've summoned one card so far. He clearly has some card to use, but he doesn't want to use it right now. Alright, Kairushin. Back to Vela, the Kairusha. Okay. Sure. Don't think that's gonna change much except for make my turn a little bit more of a hassle. <laughs> and now I will... Mm, attack. Now he has to special summon the other one. It's kind of annoying because I was going to go for C self attack too. Die. Or special summon your other card, I think. That's fine. Oh, Sky Striker. Still attack. Die. And I end my turn. And now that effect veiler is gone, so now he's under the effects of Ocean Lord. If he has a Widow Anchor, then he has a chance of actually fighting back, but if he doesn't have Widow Anchor, then he's screwed. So we'll see. Uh, the one thing that's annoying is the Sky Strikers do take a very long time to do their plays. It's always forever. Monster Reborn? What the hell are you Monster Reborning? Do I have anything in here? Are you gonna get the Warrior of Atlantis? No! Okay. Sure. You can now Link Summon. The Water type, I think. You can't summon anything. <laughs> That's your one monster, I'm pretty sure. So, you can summon into uh, Shiz Shiz Shizuku. That's about it, I think. Yep. Now you can get another monster if you want. Mm, yeah, that's annoying. That's why I wanted the... Ah, uh, it's fine, though. Legendary Fishman still standing. And if he does end up dying, then I get Kairushin back. Everyone wins. Can you use that again? I can't believe it's not one per turn. <laughs> it's fine. Fine, waste your turn. The smart thing to do here would be actually to take control of the fisherman. What? My legendary ocean? No! I'll get it back, it's not a problem. Man, I hate Sky Strikers so much. My turn? That one effective healer basically saved him. He had no way to win otherwise. Are you not strong enough to take down the legendary fisherman? 
Are you that weak? Come on. <laughs> he couldn't beat over a 17. Okay, yeah, connection failed. The real answer here is that you could not go over a 1700 fisherman and you decided to just give up. Whatever. I ranked up. That's all that matters. Ah, uh, yeah, I hate. So here's the secret thing as to why I haven't been playing this. I actively hate link summoning. <laughs> In a vast majority, pure link decks, I think, are the most boring decks in the entire game so that includes sky strikers marine sus which is what i also was planning to use for this i think the only one i don't think is boring is uh beach uh bee troopers no no what the hell are they called i'll let's go bee troopers those are the only ones i don't think are annoying all the other ones are just straight up boring decks and no not in sectors um uh it's not in sectors i know that much they're called Beach Troopers, yeah, they're the Beach Troopers. Um, so yeah, most all Link decks that are just focused on Link are boring. Salad sucks, all of them kind of suck. So the idea of doing a festival where it's just nothing but Link summoning doesn't really excite me. Because it would be better if I could do any of the other ones. So I don't know, people were always asking for Link summoning, uh, Luke summoning festival, but I don't know why. I think it's just not very fun. As you can see there, that was a specific Link deck, and that was just the most unfun thing imaginable. <laughs> it was just the Sky Striker. So, yeah, and then also everyone would just turbo into Axis Code win. So, there you go. And even the, the one Link deck that I did like was um, Dragon Link, and that's because Dragon Link also uses Synchros and XZ's monsters as well. So... Yeah, I'll probably play a little bit more. What is the... How much of this do I have to play to get everything? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll make it all the way to Diamond 1, but I may as well already kind of keep going forward. It is free gems. That's always nice. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.